So we're on the 591. I don't recommend it. We're trying to make up ground quickly and keep flowing with the traffic and get to Windermere. This is the Lake District. This is what it's all about. Well, we're back out on another bike ride. It's me and Mike today. We're at Junction 37 on the M6 North. So we're near Killington and we're gonna go into the Lake District, right into the heart of the Lake District. Should be a cracking ride. And it has tipped it down coming here today. We're hoping though to get blue skies. It has stopped raining now. So there's the motorway junction just there. We're gonna make our way up the A684 all the way over here into Kendall, into Windermere and well into the Lake District towards Keswick. Let's have a quick look at the map. There's Kendall, we're going to go into Windermere, Grassmere, hopefully climb up here to our Stirlmere, take this little B road, Keswick's to the left, and hopefully back down through Shap to here again. And today I'm back out on my other best bike, I've got two rallies, I've not been out on it for a long time, and I've done two some... For one, isn't it? Two for price of one. He's off, you're off already aren't you? Where was I? Yeah, so we're on um, SRAM RED 22 um, but I've put some new crank sets on, new cassette, new chain. This had a 5339, I've gone for a compact 5034 with, that's actually quite a nice close set on the back, 1125. Yeah. Some nice touches, we've got carbon, oh, yeah. bottle cages, nice. all carbon, yeah. eastern carbon. Yeah, eastern carbon. With some deeper section rims, oh, so yeah. I think today, Mike, on the um, freewheeling down the hills... You'll have me. I might have the edge on you this yeah. time. Yeah, I think you might, Darren. Obviously, looking at Mike's bike, it is a super bike. It's all super record, carbon. So, yeah, we've got some nice bikes to it, some fantastic lanes. So, come on. Come on, go for a ride, innit? Let's go for a ride, then. <laughs> That was a nice blast down the 684 then. Not even warmed up, but 40 miles an hour. The sun's shining, but we need dry lines on the road because we're getting really wet from the surface spray. Well, that feels quick. Averaging 19 miles an hour. We're in Kendall already. 17 minutes to Kendall. So having made it to Kendall in pretty good time, let's have a look at the map. And that's where we're based in the United Kingdom. In a bit more detail, you can see where we started there today, the Tall Scotch Road at Junction 37 of the M6, which is near Killington. And highlighted in green there is the route that we took today, with Kendall where we are right now, Windermere, Ambleside, Grassmere, and then at 40 miles we had some lunch at the Station Street Kitchen in Keswick. But let's get back to the ride. So we've just got to navigate our way out of Kendall and head towards Windermere now. So we're on the 591, I don't recommend it! We're trying to make up ground quickly and keep flowing with the traffic. Well, it's all right going on the flat fast, but these hills, they're made for cars. What a view opening up ahead. So there's Windermere, 48 minutes to here. made some really good progress to get to Windermere. We had a crosswind really. Some sections you're doing 42 and 43 miles an hour. Other sections it's really hard, it's 10 mile an hour uphill. So how was the run in there Mike? 
Yeah, not not feeling too good. Too. Have you not got the uh, the Jim engine yet? Is it not there yet? No, the my lungs are tight as hell. It might come though in the ride. It, it might. might do. Might do. Because we're on 18 mile an hour, 58 minutes to do 17 and a half miles. This is Windermere, isn't it? Halfway to Ambleside. That's fantastic. There's the Langdale Pikes oh, with oh, yeah. Bowfell, Crinkle Crags. Everything's all in there. Oh, but we've just met up with loads of traffic, haven't we? So, yeah, yeah the average speed will drop right down now. Do you bike dirty? Right. I'm not happy about mine, to be honest. I fall to Crinkle Crags. Well, I might find a baby wipe later, but um, Crinkle Crags. Oh, I like Crinkle Crags. That is a walk and a half. Are they like uh, Jacob's Crackers? What? Are they like Jacob's Crackers, Crinkle Crags? No, they're not. All oh, right, they're not. Oh, it's the same thing. No. Uh, it's just really, really busy. It's a nice day now and everyone's coming out on the summer holidays for a day trip. Ambleside. Yeah, nice, it? Lovely. Yeah. So you get your kayak here, wouldn't you? Park up round here, get on here with a kayak. Thank you, room. Yeah. Mike's taking pictures because that kind of view there is just beautiful. It's to die for. We've got Grasmere here now, well into the ride, making reasonable progress. It's not as busy. Look at that though, it's a proper glacial. Yeah, um, you can see the shape, the ice has yeah, come through there, carved it through. Yeah, the ice, um, the, the, in the ice age, yeah. the glacial thing in the cut that thing so you can just ride right through it. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. So this is Grasmere, and it's one of the Lake District's most popular places to visit, which is largely thanks to Wordsworth. And it's just picture postcard perfection. This is Grasmere. It's just stunning, isn't it? There's some big hills around here. And so next we took on the Dunmail Rays Pass, which takes us to an elevation of 783 feet above sea level. We're well and truly now on this climb between Grasmere and Thirlmere. Now this climb, it's not particularly hard, but the scenery just gets you through it anyway. It's absolutely stunning. And you can see here where the land was formed by an almighty glacier at one time. Well, we've just summited now. That was a nice climb. Just shy of 800 foot above sea level. Wow, this is gorgeous. Just lost for words right now. So we've come off the main 591. I'll put um, the name of the road below. So all this range here will be the back end of Helvellyn and nethermost. Oh, sure. But this is just going to be another one of them rides where we'll be saying it was better than the last one. And we planned it last night. We looked late on, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. On the phone. Where should we go tomorrow? It looks like it might be sunny up there. And within 10 minutes we'd got this roughly planned out. And then we bumped into this senior cyclist who was hoping to go across America on wow, Route 66. Chapel. In two weeks time I'm going to do Route 66. Really? In theory, yes, yeah, yeah, I've got the tickets. I know the route. Wait, well, is that 3,000 miles? No, it's about 2,000. Ah, right. But I'm going from west to east. And then the road was shut. And I mean shut. Well, it looks like this road's shut, Mike. Yeah. We can't get over there really. Uh, they're saying there's tree damage from that storm early on in the year. So they completely shut it off and it, storm it weren't that one. Eugene. Storm Eunice or something. You can see the trees here actually, all here. It's all precarious. We've got trees here all come down. Weren't Storm Wurzel. So 
I'm tempted, but it's not fair on, on Mike if we're gonna... Right, we'll turn back. Ah, oh, well, it's a shame about that road. I mean, normally on a bike, you can get through most places, but they've well and truly shut that down. But we don't know what trees are up there, you know, hanging off the edge of the cliffs and things. But uh, it's a really enchanted little road, this. It's uh, stunning, there's some amazing scenery. And here's that cyclist again that we were just talking to about Route 66. there's just not enough words to describe the scenery on that section there and you can just make out Skidor there looming on the horizon and then we pull in at a vantage point just to look at where we cycled from so there is the valley we've just come down this is the back end of Helvellyn oh, it's warm now Mike I can feel myself I'm getting a bit Ugh. you all right you doing a selfie I mean you oh oh yeah Oh, sorry. Turn the camera the right way around, Mike. But here we are now on this pretty fast descent on the approach into Keswick. And you may have seen this clip before on a previous video. Um, I was carrying a lot of speed, probably too much speed, and there's a car ahead, I could see it. And I was thinking, will he? Won't he? And in the end, he did. He pulled out right across us. And there you have it. Expect the unexpected. Enough said on the matter. Me! I'm going to have to get the bleak machine on that. That was 40 mile an hour and a car pulled out on us. Oh! Run, run, run. Just doing a mini tour of Keswick. It's really, really busy. Right, well, we've managed to find a cafe just on the outskirts of the busy part of Keswick. We've got Skidor up here. Just look at that. It's just fantastic. And this is where we found a nice little place. It's quiet. Here's Mike. Might get a sun tan here. Plenty warm, innit? Yep. I need like tanning oil to, to make me brown. You got a tanning oil on now? No, I need it. Well, like, is it Pisbuini? What do you call it? Chip fat oil. Chip fat oil. Chip fat oil? Eh? So, sausage and egg. Mike's on bacon and sausage. No black puddings again. That's two weeks on the trot. I needed that. That must have made up for the black puddings, Mike. Pretty much, pretty much, I think. Do you hold it like, like, like that or like that? Which way do you do it? Very posh. It's even served on an old roof slate. Can we have the bill, please? Mike's paying. Mmm. Mmm. I tell you what, Mike, I could have just sat in the sun there all day. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Time to get a move on. Feel about two stone, isn't it? Well, it's always a big climb out of Keswick. We're going to get on the A66 and then maybe drop off it down towards Ullswater somewhere. And so the route back was going to be challenging, and it was over 50 miles taking us through some stunning scenery in the northwest of England. And speaking of which, because we are in the Lake District, so far we've passed by Lake Windermere, Rydal Water, Grasmere, Thirlmere, Derwent Water, with our next destination being Ullswater, which is six lakes. And if you include Killington, that's seven. And at times, we weren't far from Horswater either. But let's get back to the ride, where we've got to negotiate the really busy A66. We've got some fantastic views of Blancathra to the left. Well, we're holding some good pace here. This is 25 mile an hour, 26. Um, it's not been too bad at all. Well, that was a really challenging section on the 66. Again, I don't recommend it, but you've got to get on these roads just to get to where you want to be. We're in Troutbeck now, and um, on the main road, we're going to drop down now to Ullswater. Out, out. So here we are a bit further on down the road on the descent and this was spectacular. There's a cyclist ahead in the distance and he actually passed us and he looked like he was in good shape, he was carrying some good pace. So me and Mike just cruised along holding that gap at around 200 meters and the views were just opening up. So the location that we're at on the road is near a place called Dockray 
And this is the Park Browdy Centre on the A5091. And as you can see, it's a high speed descent. I'm putting some power through the pedals there, just trying to keep that pace going. Just really enjoying this section. It was brilliant. And then we caught up with a car and eventually that cyclist. <laughs> How was that? Some what bends. Happened? That'd be climbing ass, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, we've had a, a lovely little stroll, if you like, down there following Hull's Water. And we're at Watermill Lock. We want to look out for signs for Pooley Bridge. So this looks like the new bridge over Pooley Bridge. Oh. Yeah. Really good little place this. Yeah. Does 60 miles. It's not bad, is it? No. What do you think of Pooley Bridge, Mike? Nice. Really nice. I could just sit in there now and have a cold one. Yeah. Well, last week my legs went dead at 35, 40 mile. Today I'm not saying Mike's legs are dead. But some of the fitness isn't there that he wants. You're feeling it a bit, aren't you? Not in your legs, no. Not in your legs, but just the ride, it's... it's got more energy. Just the energy levels aren't there today he's for him. He's taking the EPO now. Yeah. See if that hurt me up. Well, what a, a busy little place that is, Pooley Bridge. I believe that bridge got taken out by the floods, I think, with Storm Desmond. I said, yeah, man. Hey. No, Mike, it wasn't. It was a flood, a storm. So we're going to come off this B road now out to Pooley Bridge. Take a little back lane, hopefully get somewhere towards Orton. Maybe back onto the A6 eventually. So what I do sometimes on these rides, I use the Garmin and just put in a, a known place somewhere nearby. And I, I kind of trust it a lot to find me either a shortest route, a cycling friendly route, Nine times out of ten, it's very good. Well, we've come to a gate. Another gate, that's a good ride if there's a gate on the road, isn't it, Mike? Uh, yeah. You all right? No, I'm just tablets on. Tablet, oh, tablets, tablets. Yeah. Look at this. We're going to go down this little dirty sheep track lane. That's it. And then we're going to go left onto the next main road. Yeah, you can. You can say dirty sheep track, Mike. No, I thought you were saying that. So yeah, this is where the Garmin can come in handy. It finds lovely little shortcuts. I'll tell you what, Mike, that is an industrial bolt. I like the look of that. Look at that. That is really nice. Oh, God, an industrial bolt. Look at this. It's proper. Have a look at it, Mike. Oh, I mean, that is a work of that, isn't it? That is serious. That's serious technology. That could last a long time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the thread's on it. So there's a sign for, is it Nipe? to the left, Shap and Brampton Grange to the right. And we're going up here, <laughs> it's full of sheep. Come on, come on, let's be having you. Well, there's the view ahead. Doesn't get any more rural than this, does it? So this area here is Brampton Grange. We're gonna go this way towards Shap. That way takes you to Horswater. And we're about nine and a half miles from the next checkpoint at Orton. And so we cover some distance at this stage. We also needed to top up our water bottles. So we're now back on the A6 where Shap is. Ideally we need some refreshments. Yeah. There yeah, there's a shop here, that'll do perfect. Well, that were a godsend, the Lakes and Dales co-op. Just what we needed. It's a tough ride, I can feel it now. 
So we were looking for Orton, which is about four miles away. And here we are now, taking a right onto the B6261 and over the cattle grid. And again, this was another very remote place to ride your bike. We're pretty high up here now. And uh, I've been here before on my John O'Groats to Land's End rides and what have you. And even though we were feeling the effects of the distance in our legs, we had to be mindful of livestock on the side of the road. And more importantly, enjoy your cycling on these fantastic lanes. Well, them clouds are looking ominous. I'm hoping we can get them um, off this top section, get some speed and move on out of it and try to have a dry ride. Got the motorway just there. That's the M6 northbound. And there's the fantastic Loom Gorge, that V section in the middle there. Uh, proper adventure, eh, Mike? Yeah. It's 10 o'clock at night and we're still out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're nearly back at the car. I think Mike's just gone now. I'll wait for him. It's just little hills now and they, um, they do take it out of you. So Mike, if we made it, we've had sun all day really, haven't we? Yep. 90 mile on the dot. Yep. I bet we've done a few thousand feet, I don't know yet. 4,000. No, no. And so there you have it, that was a brilliant ride. And in the end, we did cycle 90 miles, or 145 kilometres, with 7,125 feet of climbing. And the ride time was 6 hours and 11 minutes, with a maximum speed just shy of 43 miles per hour. But if you like these videos, let me know and I'll make some more for you. And thank you for watching. I'm a cyclist, and I live in the Pennines. Watch it! Oh. Yeah. Hang on. This right. No, this don't look right. Hang on. No, we didn't want that. Oh, well, quick look on that. No, sorry. No. Well, I think I've been here before because I recognise the bloody downhill bit. You just wanted to test your legs a bit more, didn't you? Well, there's nothing here. We've got flies though following us. Blinking out the swarming us.